Hey guys, today we're gonna to learn how to make your final show Padlet. So the first thing you need to know is that the Padlet, when you go to Padlet.com, you need to uh, make sure that you're logged into your account. You can see my account up here has my little picture. And your account should be your name first and last so that we know it's you posting. If you don't have that, you could head on over to Clever and click your Padlet from there, or you can sign up for a Padlet using your school email or a personal email. Once you have that done, you'll be at this space. You won't have all these because you may not have made any Padlets before. But today we're going to make a Padlet. So we're going to click on the Make a Padlet button. Now when you do that, you will see there are eight different types of Padlets. These are templates that you can use to make different Padlets. And we're using just these first four, the wall, the canvas, the stream, or the grid. Now in class, I have been using the shelf. This looks very familiar, I would hope, to how you post every week for Fridays when you are posting your work. At the top, there's a category, and then underneath are all of the Padlet posts. We are not using that though because we are going to be making our very own Padlet. You will be creating a Padlet with your work in it for other people to come see. So you can see it gives you a little explanation for each one of these. And I really like the stream where the person has to scroll through. If you like a wall or a canvas or a grid, that's fine too. There's even a little place to preview if you kind of want to see how it's set up. So I'm going to click, um, click on stream. And when you do that, it's just going to give you a random um, title. It's going to give you a random background and your first, um, thing that you need to do today is to set up your Padlet. We're not even going to try to post any work. We're going to try to make our Padlet look great. So if you're on the um, on, on a mobile device, you will click the settings button to do this. If you are, and you can see here, um, there's a little gear here, um, and that will open up your um, your different things that you can do with your Padlet. So the first thing is you want to title your Padlet, okay? And in the title of your Padlet, I would like you to write your name, and I would also like you to have um, your class period, okay? So for example, <clears throat> mine might be called, whoops, sorry about that. Mine might be called, this is the title here. Um, mine might be called uh, Miss Gray's Quarter One Art Period. And then I would put my period number. Since I don't have a period number, I'm just going to put period there. Okay. Um, and then you notice what happens. It comes up over here on the left. So that's what we're going to see there. The description is going to be whatever you want to say about your um your show, okay? Like these are my best pieces or something like that. If you don't want anything, you can just get rid of it and notice it's gone there now, okay? The next thing we're gonna choose is an icon. And when you open this up, you will notice that you can choose a, an emoji or you can add your own icon. Now remember, this is going along with the theme of being a final work. So you wanna make sure you're not putting just some random character or something. Make sure it kinda of goes along. I want you thinking about how you're creatively showing this. This is your post that you're gonna to show to everyone in the class. So you want to have everything looking like it all works together, okay? So I'm gonna go down here to the symbols and I'm gonna choose a, let's see here. I'm gonna choose a, looking for a star, but I think I'm in the wrong spot. I'm gonna choose the sun, okay? So you can see what it does is it puts it as my icon. So whatever you want for your icon, you're gonna do that. If you don't want an icon, you can click toggle this over and it'll get rid of it. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead with that little sun. And then continuing down, you can see the, the address here. We don't need to worry about that yet. Um, and then I want you to think about the appearance of your Padlet, okay? What do you want in the background? Now, to me, as an artist, and this is totally up to you, to me, I like to have a solid color back there so it really shows off my work. So I'm just going to pick, and there's all different colors you can pick up from if you want to do solid. There's gradients, textures, and patterns, pictures, or you can add your own wallpaper. Um, I would really refrain from adding your own wallpaper on this one. I would like you to use something that's set up here so that we're not too easily distracted by what you're putting there. Okay? So we are going to be putting, I'm going to put a solid black. 
And what that does is it gives me a whole full background here. You can see all of my information really stands forward. I'm gonna hit the back button. And now I'm gonna move on to my color scheme. Do I want my posts to be on a white background or a black background? I'm going with white since I have black here. I can pick a different font if I want. I think I'm gonna get a little creative here and do a different font, you can see there. Um, now, posting. We are going to make some choices about how we want things posted. Number one, you want there to be attribution. That means it's going to display who is writing on the post. Everyone should toggle that over, okay? New post position. I would suggest putting your a new post position um, first so that it will go in a line, but that is up to you, okay? So actually, uh, what did I do? First or last? I think the new post, oh, I want this one. I wanted it last on the last one. I did it first, but you can decide how you want that to go. It's where the posts, the order, the posts are going to go in. Okay. On comments, do you want to allow people to comment on your work? That is a personal choice. If you don't want comments on your, um, your show, then don't toggle this over. I do want them. So I'm going to toggle it over. Um, now, this is another personal choice. Do you want reactions? There are lots of different choices for reactions. Do you want people to be able to like your posts, vote up or down on the posts, um, give a star system from one to five, or give a grade to the post? I'm going with a star system on mine because I just want to see what people think. It's a personal choice. Um, and then down here, everyone's going to do the same content filtering. We are not going to require approval, but we are going to filter profanity. Okay. And that brings us to the bottom of this. So once we save that, it should be able to close. And now we have our Padlet. So what you'll notice is that we have a blank Padlet here. That means you are going to be the one that is going to fill this up with all of your work, okay? So you can either double click anywhere, drag files in, or paste from clipboard, or click here to post. Now, if you wanna just post like we have been, you click this, and you can see a very similar box to what we've been doing. Everyone will, and I, I'm going to include this um, worksheet for you so that you can see exactly what you need to have, but everyone today should be coming up with their opening screen, their opening post, okay? And the opening post should have the title of your show. Um, My Work 2020 is what I'm going to call mine. Um, we do not need to put our byline here because that should be up here. And if it's not, you go back into the gear and change it. And then you're going to write an overall artist statement. This statement should be three to four sentences long, and it should be talking about all of your work. Okay. So here is going to be a three to four, whoops, I did not click that. Three to four sentence, sentences about your overall show. You might want to talk about your favorite materials. You might want to talk about what was difficult or easy for you. You might want to talk about um, your favorite things that you did or what was um, the, the material that you liked the best. That is the overall artist state, okay? Now, once you're done posting that, we're not going to put a picture or anything down here. We are just going to click it so it goes like this, okay? Now, if you want to change some things, we know there are some little three little dots there. You can edit your post or you can change the color. The first one, I always like to change the color and then the rest I'm going to do white. Okay. So today, what you're responsible for doing this first day is setting up your Padlet, getting all of the things set up the way that I've asked. Um, and I will give you a check sheet for that so that you can make sure you have it right. And I would also like to have your overall, um, your overall, uh, statement for your work. Okay.